And here's how we start a perfect evening. Working on the truck with some Led Zeppelin playing. And the Lenore in the yard. Good times. Okay, I've certainly seen worse, but as you can tell, well, if I could actually get in here and frickin' see how much that's moving. Yeah, that's not good. Of course, even worse is uh, that amount of playing the bearings, but nah, screw it. I don't feel like doing that tonight, so. Yeah. Okay, we've already uh, loosened up the. Uh, two clamp nuts there that holds this adjusting rod. Anyway, this is probably uh, going to be laughed at by a few, but just in case anyone ever tries this, don't try and get ball joints, tie rods, anything that's a press fit like that by hitting on the top of the stud like that. It's a waste of effort because the shock wave travels down and doesn't loosen. Instead, hit right there on the side and that'll get them loose every time. In fact, I'll even do it while we're uh, doing on this. Don't use a pussy hammer either. It'll probably take a couple dozen more wax. Approximately three more wax from the last video. And voila. Don't worry about this. It doesn't matter if it's dinked up. Anyway, just wanted to let people know, those of you that are new to ball joints and or tie rods in, yeah, never try and pound out from the top. 